Welcome back. Uh, hello. Here's here's a little oatmeal on the oatmeal's back. Terrified of the car as always. Yeah, oatmeal's still scared of the car. I've never done anything like when the dogs in the in the car, the dogs, I never floor it or do anything wild and you know for that reason but she's still very scared I don't know why she's been scared since day one she's pretty scared of being picked up and she's afraid of being in the car she's just very scared of that she's kind sure. of stuff yeah she's very unsure um, she's doing a little bit better now she was shaking really bad whenever we got into the car today we're running a few errands we're just going around doing some stuff our last stop is the bank we are going to deposit a check for me really quick and then we have some juicy stuff to share with you guys about the house build. Uh, we just had another meeting and we got some new designs to show you guys. Uh, we did not go over the basement at all before in our meetings. Um, we talked about it, but they never showed us like plans of it. So they came out with some ideas for us, which we will show you guys. And then we also may or may not have found out the estimate price for it, which we also will be sharing. So we'll go finish up our errands and then we will head home and show you guys the big old juice. Right, Pig? She said, yes, I am focusing on driving, so stop filming me, please. Oh my God. Are we being basic? Uh. <laughs> we are Starbucks people now? Oh my God. We came back to get the sugar cookie drink again. We talked about it in our last vlog. Super, super good. Um, and somebody in the comments recommended to do it with oat milk. So we tried it with the regular almond milk last time and then we came back like a day later and we got it with whole milk because they were out of almond milk. And now we're gonna try oat milk today because somebody recommended it and oat milk is really, really good. So we're really excited to try it. And um, we're just waiting in line. Are you excited to have your sugar cookie drink? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at how excited she is. <laughs> she knows drive throughs all too well. <gasps> you guys, this is such a big deal. I'm freaking They've out. Never had Starbucks. They have never had a pup cup before, oh, and I've seen like cup. all the trendy people give their dogs they're pup so cups. They're so trendy. Oh my god, I'm one of these people. Oh my god! And they were like, "Do you want to give uh, your puppies some pup cups?" What? Do you know how excited here? I am for this? Our little girls, they love whipped cream. When I worked at the hospital, there was a Starbucks in there and the people that would bring like their support dogs and everything and like therapy dogs, they would always yeah, treat them to a pup cup at the end of the day because they would be with, you know, their owners all day helping them get treatment and stuff. And then the reward at the end of the day would be to get a pup cup. And it always was the cutest thing watching them eat them. And now we're gonna get our little girls one. What did you do today to deserve this? Nothing. <laughs> she said I was cute and I had to deal with you guys, so. All right, Piggy, you want your pup cup? Pup cup time. Ooh, yummy, yummy. I can't see if the lighting is fine or not because the sun is so bad. <laughs> Good girl, you like that. Here you go, baby girl. What cream, your favorite? Oatmeal, this is well deserved for her. She's been doing very good. Dealing with the car ride. We are back. Here we are. So we are now in the final stages of the house build, well, the design and development stage of the house build. Obviously, we're not in the final stages of the whole build yet. We haven't even broken ground. But this is the big step to get you to where you're actually going to be seeing some dirt uh, getting moved. And this has been a big project. Uh, we're not, you know, it's not like we're moving into a neighborhood or a house uh, that's already, you know, where it's already planned out. This is basically doing everything to put a house in a giant open field. So there, there's a lot of plumbing, electricity, all kinds of wild stuff that has to happen. Lots of permits, um, lots of work. But now we're past most of that, almost all of it, and we have the final design for our home and uh, as well as the final cost of the house. And uh, you know we're very happy with it. Everything is looking awesome. Our builder has been great through the entire process. And he did say at the very beginning, that he always likes to err on the side of caution. So, in other words, if he's not gonna tell you, yeah, I can build a house for $400,000 and it ends up being 800,000, he's gonna say, well, we'll start and see 800,000 and then try to come under budget, which uh, is what happened for us. You know, we- I can't believe it. Yeah, we thought we were gonna have to pay a lot more and uh, we ended up coming in under budget. Um, still, you know, a lot of house, a lot of expenses, still not cheap, but uh, I mean, it's gonna be, I mean, these designs are incredible. I cannot believe we came in yeah. under budget. That's with a lot of bells and whistles. That wasn't like cheaping out on anything because I said, you know what? You're, we're building a custom house. 
could very well be here for 40 years, 50 years. Uh, you know, why, if you're gonna spend the money, get everything you want. Kind of like getting a car. Point. It's yeah. the whole point of a custom build. We yeah. are making this exactly to our liking. So it's, you know. Exactly. Yeah. So you guys saw, I think, the inside dimensions of the garage and kind of the inside look. So that's what it looks like on the outside. So it's gonna be a six car. All of those bays are oversized. Oh, I love uh, it. Oversized bays. Um, it's gonna be all rock on the outside of the house. So it's gonna look really yeah, cool. Yeah, look at all the rock. But again, just playing into that that whole design language that I like, where it's not, you know, I didn't want like a home and then a, a you know, some industrial building garage. Although those, those are very cost effective and very good, I wanted it to all be, you know, look like one bigger house. And that's kind of the advantage of having a huge garage. The house actually isn't that large, but the garage is gonna make it look truly <laughs> The gross. garage is crazy. Uh, getting a package delivery, so I'll hand it off to Gina real quick. Yeah, the garage is absolutely crazy. So I'm gonna actually turn over the page because I mentioned to you guys that we got um, some designs for the basement, which was really cool. This is one of like the second things on my list that I really, really was into because I want a gym at our home really bad and so does Mike he's really big into lifting and everything and boxing so I really was looking forward to the gym because I love working out at home I started whenever quarantine started and it's totally I I just love it I do not miss going to Planet Fitness and we don't have much in the house here so I'm like making it work but I couldn't imagine what I can't imagine what it's gonna be like having our own gym in the basement of our home it's gonna be really really awesome Mike's getting ready to go golfing with Bobby this is going to be the basement um, they had the gym over here but Mike wants it to be huge so it's actually gonna be this whole side of the house and then he has the idea of putting in a pub here so it's gonna be like sunken down in and these are going to be stained glass doors this is like his whole vision here um he wants it to be like very old school pub like just he has a really cool vision and it's i'm really excited for it. it's really awesome um and then this is going to be a whole storage area for them to work with with electronics and stuff and hot water heaters and all that stuff so we're actually going to bump this wall up a little bit more we don't need all of this extra space so this is going to be bumped up and this is going to be all unfinished and then this whole room here is going to be our movie room now so the movie room that you guys see us filming in a lot it's that blue room where we have all the movie posters and everything it's gonna be copy and pasted everything in there is just gonna go down there so it's gonna be a nice homey little um, movie room area and I'm excited to have it be that because it's a little like not fancy enough to be upstairs in our great room um, so we're gonna be putting that down in the basement and it's gonna be an awesome area to hang out in and everything so did we cover everything, all the new news? I think so. Did we tell them when we're when we're probably gonna start building? Well, we'll be uh, breaking ground first thing next summer. Can you guys believe so that? We're eight, we're nine, nine-ish months out from, uh, you're actually gonna see something getting built. We'll keep you guys updated like yeah. we have been. You guys really seem to like the mm -hmm. build updates. Definitely. Um, so when it starts getting, that's when the fun's gonna start. Cause right now we have papers, but we don't have anything yeah, to show you. it's gonna be really cool to show you guys behind my sunglasses. Oh, that's the worst. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, you know, when we actually get some, you'll see something, a structure going up. Yeah, it's gonna be really. It's gonna fun. be really cool. Great We're videos. really excited. This is flying by. Our next meeting isn't for a while. There's gonna be a lot of space for them to work with things that we told them that we like, and they're gonna fix a bunch of stuff. And then our next meeting, we're gonna be meeting with a professional interior designer. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be figuring out the inside of our house. And it's just crazy. So we're really, we're really excited. excited. Big stuff. Yeah, and we are very thankful for you guys. And we love sharing this with you all. My camera's about to die. Not Mike has to go part. golfing. Not the fun part. So we're gonna see you Not guys later. Thank you for watching and yeah.